I am confusion. friends welcome back to my channel and welcome to a video that you've been requesting a lot recently and that is a book related video i promise i'll be doing more of these in the future um but today i'm gonna start with my quarantine to be read list so these are all the books that i'm planning to read while self-isolating and probably soon quarantining because i bet finland is also going towards lockdown and it's for our good it's for the best we're just trying to be safe and not let this virus just spread and spread and spread we're trying to flatten the curve and uh, yeah this is not the place where you're gonna hear news and stuff about <laughs> the virus because i want my channel to be an escape from that i just don't want to be reading and hearing about it all the time but that really is what everyone's talking about so I promise I'm not gonna be talking about it. Instead, I'm gonna share you the books that I'll be reading while self-isolating and quarantining. Also, I think I should update you that I got a three-month temporary layoff from work due to this virus, so that's why I have this stack of books, because I'll be reading a lot. Anyway, let's talk about books. So I have six books right here. I'm gonna start with the one that I'm currently reading, which is called Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. Already 130 pages in, I am on chapter six. And this is a book about the first son of the United States and the Prince of Wales. The first sentence here is, what happens when America's first son falls in love with the Prince of Wales? And that is basically what this book is about. It is about uh, the relationship and that kind of stuff. And this is a book that was re recommended by my friend Susanna, I think in one of her favorites or one of her book videos. And to me, it just sounded very interesting. I'm really enjoying it so far. Basically, this book is told from the perspective of the first son of the United States, who is called Alex. And I really love his relationships with his friends, his like people around him and I love how he looks at the world. He's just a very interesting character and so is Prince Henry. I'm enjoying it so far a lot and it, it's quite nice to read about something that is so not what is happening in the world and yeah I mean I love love and I am very interested to see what happens because now I'm getting into the juicy it's would recommend i just love how the book looks it's very very cute very cute the next book is also one that was recommended to me by a friend um this is called the whisperers by greg howard and my friend amanda recommended this book to me i haven't read this book i haven't started it so i'm just gonna read the back of the book for you Time is running out and the whispers are waiting before she disappeared riley's mama used to tell him stories about the whispers mysterious creatures with the power to grant wishes. Riley wishes for lots of things. He wishes his secret crush Dylan liked him back. He wishes the local detective would stop asking awkward questions. But most of all, he wishes his mother would have come home. Four months later, the police are no closer to finding out the truth, and Riley decides to take matters onto his own hands, venturing into the woods with his dog Tucker and his best friend Gary to find the whispers and the truth. So this seems and looks very magical and there's a dog and an adventure. So I think this is this is going to be a good one. Also, I like that it's a small book, 230 pages. So this is, I'm thinking, quite a quick read. I mean, I'm a fast reader personally, so I think this is like quite a nice little bookish snack for me. And yeah, it sounds interesting. Amanda just recommended it to, to me and I just said, okay, if you think I'd like it, I'm gonna try it. The next book is uh, a book that I've actually shown on my channel in a Disney haul before. I still haven't even started it. And it is uh, called Let It Go. It's a frozen twisted tale by... I have no idea who has written this book. It just, oh, Jen Kalanita, okay. Basically, this is a story told from, I think, Elsa's point of view, and it explores the question, what if Anna and Elsa never knew each other? I basically picked this up because um, the Frozen hype in November was crazy and I found this in the works for like three pounds. And I mean, 
it is interesting. What if Anna and Elsa never knew each other? This is definitely like a darker Disney story and I'm here for it. I mean, okay, okay. I'm gonna carry on with the Disney theme because the next book is also Disney themed, but it's not a fictional book. It's actually a Walt Disney biography by Bob Thomas. And this book is a little special, I mean, very special because it was actually a gift from a couple of my viewers who I met at Tubecon last year. So I just wanna say thanks Eli and Inka for, for giving me this book. They gave it to me as a little inspiration and motivation to keep going with my Disney dreams and they left little messages here and it's really adorable, thank you so much. And yeah, it's basically what what it says. It is a Walt Disney biography and I'm pretty sure he was with the author um, when he was writing this. Yes, I think so. And there's a couple of like pictures of him and like when he was working, drawings and pictures of him with his family. Walt Disney is a huge inspiration to me and I mean I know a lot about his life. I've watched documentaries and everything but I've never read a book about his life so this is gonna be very interesting. And the last two books of my quarantine to be read list are these two books by Rick Riordan from his Trials of Apollo series. It comes as no surprise to anyone at this point that I am a huge, huge fan of Rick Riordan's books. I absolutely love Percy Jackson and the Olympians. I absolutely love Heroes of Olympus. And I'm very excited to start um, Trials of Apollo. I've heard controversial opinions about these. Some people love them, some people don't but I'm still very excited to start reading them. The main character is again different from Percy, it's not Percy anymore, which I'm happy about in the way that finally my boy is getting some rest. I mean, now when I'm saying that, probably he'll be fighting his ass off in this. But yeah, the first book is The Hidden Oracle and the second one is The Dark Prophecy. I don't have the third book with me, which I'm kind of nervous about because libraries are closed. What if I finish these and Rick Riordan has left the second one in a huge cliffhanger and I'm just left hanging? Because he does that. I'll just read all the other books first and then I'll finish these and then, then I can get the third one, hopefully. Hopefully this virus has passed at that point. Hello, it is editor Vilma. Um, I just came here to say that I'm very sorry I barely talked about these books. I was just hyping them because I'm very excited to read them, but I can't talk about the plot because that is a spoiler of the previous series, which is called Heroes of Olympus. And to really understand that series, you have to read Percy Jackson and the Olympians. But in a nutshell, and with no spoilers, um, all of these three series, they all revolve around Greek mythology and how it connects to our world. Honestly, they are amazing. They are so good. They're amazingly written and I would highly recommend checking them out. Um, but yeah, <laughs> let's get back into the video. These books, I'm very, very, very excited. Um, I, I can't, I can't wait to start reading these, but because I read all of the Percy Jackson and the Olympians and Heroes of Olympus series. I'm gonna keep a little Percy Jackson break and read other books. Also just for the sake of everyone else's sanity because I talk about those series and those characters so much, everyone just goes crazy. But some people tell me it's adorable, so I'm like, okay, perfect timing. My battery's starting to flash. It's screaming at me silently, but I just finished telling you about all of the books that I'm gonna read while self-isolating and quarantining and being off work. These are the books that I'll be reading. Tell me if you wanna hear an update after reading these. I gotta go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And if you wanna see more book-related videos, hit thumbs up and subscribe. Hit the notification bell, feels really weird to say that, but do that if you're interested. And yeah, I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.